Hello and welcome to the next video in the Working Remotely series. This video, setting up Jabber on an Android phone. With this video, we recommend that you 1. Watch this video once all the way through. 2. Watch it again and pause it as you follow the steps. And 3. Go slow. Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Jabber on your Android device. The first thing you need to do is go to the Play Store and from here search for Jabba. You're looking for Cisco Jabba. Click the Install button. We recommend downloading while you're on a wireless or hotspot so that you don't use all the data on your phone data plan. Now that Cisco Jabber has installed, you can open the application. You need to accept the terms and conditions before proceeding. Scroll past the introductory slides and select Get Started. I'm going to deny Cisco Jabber access to my contacts because I really only want it to use the ACT government contacts and not the personal ones that I store on my phone. I am going to allow Jabber to record my audio, so this allows me to make and receive calls using Jabber. Again, because I want to use Cisco Jabber to make and manage calls, I'm going to allow this feature. At this time, I can't think of a reason why I would need Jabber to have access to my photos, so I'm going to deny it. If I do need to send a file that's on my device later, I can allow it in the settings. Allowing the app to run in the background means that people can call me while I'm not actively in the application. This may mean that my battery life is reduced, but it does mean that I can accept a call at any time. No matter which one of those you pick, you can change it later in your settings. So now I'm going to enter my work email address and select continue. I'm going to select act.gov.au and re-enter my email address. I now need to enter my password. Once you've entered your password, select sign in. Because I don't use biometric authentication on my phone, I'm going to cancel this. And there you go, you now have Jabber set up. We'll cover how to use Jabber in a separate video. If this process doesn't work for you, number one, take a deep breath. Number two, uninstall Jabber. Number three, restart your phone. Four, try again. Five, if this process still did not work for you, then please email hashtag shared services ICT CSD at ACT.gov.au. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.